to add the driver for the Kyocera 3051CI, uh, we're just going to Google Kyocera 3051CI driver. And you can put US in, that way you don't get any uh, drivers from other countries. Um, so here we go, the first, first choice is here. We'll download um, a driver here. So what you want to do is use like the latest KX driver. We're going to use this KX driver right here, and we'll download this one. We've already we've already downloaded it here, but I'll just show you what it's going to what, you, what to expect. So agree. Then you'll get this zip file. Um, I've already unzipped it and put it on the desktop right here. This is what's inside. Once you have that file, you'll click it. Click on the EN, and you're just going to click on Setup here. Um, we're going to go to Express Install, and there you can see it already found the Kyocera on the network. I'm going to click on that, and you'll get your options if you want to install the driver, the fonts, and status monitor. Status monitor just tells you uh, when the machine's low on toner, you can actually leave that off and, um, you know, just monitor the machine from the front. So, if you would like to improve your products by sharing information with Kyocera, I'm going to click No for now, and let it install and we'll skip on to the installed portion. Finish and now we're gonna to go to the printers and faxes folder. So we'll go over here, click on devices and printers. We're gonna look for the Kyocera 3051 and we wanna to go to printer properties. What we wanna do here is we're gonna click on, um, we're gonna change property. So if, it, you, if you do happen to have that change property, that means you're gonna to have to enter your password. Some computers won't have that, uh, that turned on, user account control. And we're gonna to go to preferences. And right here, we're gonna change the duplex setting to off. We want it off on this particular case and we'll change color 